I think the most important thing is to keep active and to hope that your mind stays active. Jane Goodall, I agree. Although I do wish my mind was a little less active, if it was, then maybe I wouldn't be sitting on my behind quite so much in a day working at the darn computer. But alas I've chosen the life of a writer, and as such, a significant chunk of my day is spent sitting on my rather well padded tush. Thankfully however, the universe keeps sending teachers into my path to help ensure I do indeed get up from said tush, on a regular basis, throughout the day. Because if I don't, then that tush will continue to, er, expand. Aesthetically, this would not be a good thing. Never mind all the health implications. Tendinitis, stiff neck, shoulder pain, lower back issues, headaches, eye strain, and on and on. Anyway back to the teachers, one of which is my dog, Sadie. I'm already learning a lot from this new retriever of mine. Although I suspect Sadie's goal in life is to beat some sort of record in the Guinness Book of Records, for dogs for the highest number of times chasing a ball in one's lifetime, I must admit she is one fit canine. And therefore, she gets me out every day, for at least one walk, to the beach or hike, in the woods, or both. Another wonderful teacher in my life, these days is my neo dance instructor. Every Monday evening, she gets all of us, ladies of a certain age, laughing and leaping about the room. Neo is about the joy of movement, our instructor reminds us, we're here to have fun. Now use your whole car, to lift those arms, in there, and don't forget to breathe. Yes, breathing. How soon we forget. So that's exactly what I do now, to help incorporate more movement into my everyday routine. Sure, I look like a bit of a nut walking around town, lifting my arms from the car while breathing in deeply. But at least I'm a more energized nut with a slightly smaller bum, and besides, I'm moving so quickly due to Sadie, ball in mouth, dragging me at lightning speed to the beach. People probably can't even recognize me anyway. And here's another benefit. By taking multiple small breaks away from the computer throughout the day, when I do return back to my desk, my productivity is significantly better. Six steps to help take you away from sedentary. If you too have to sit in front of a computer for much of your day here are six simple steps you can try to help bring more movement into your life. One. Get a timer. When you are working at the computer, set the timer for an hour. When the timer goes off, get up. Go for a quick walk to the bathroom, lunchroom, garden, water cooler. It doesn't matter where you go. What matters is that you move. 2. Okay, let's try one pound again. This time, when the timer goes off after an hour, you actually have to get up. Now not 20 minutes from now. Hurry. Alright, third time lucky. When the timer goes off again, pull yourself off your chair like a barnacle getting pried from its rock and walk away. Congratulations, I know full well the extent of this achievement. A computer is strangely beguiling for an inanimate object. Far. Now that you're up, if you don't want to go for a quick walk because who likes to be bossed around, then perhaps just do a stretch. Raise your arms from your car. Take a deep breath and exhale. Go do some dishes, throw in a load of laundry if you work from home, get some fresh air, do a little dance. 5. Repeat throughout day. 6. Get a dog. Or better yet, come borrow mine, 